wonderful nonprofit heroes and rock stars. Welcome back to another episode where I help guide you to using Salesforce in your nonprofit organization to create a greater impact in the world. Today, we are continuing our theme of reports in Salesforce. And today we're looking at kind of a, what I would call an intermediate function of reports. So if you're just new to reports and you want something really basic, go check out the reporting basics video that we created. But today we're gonna to talk for those intermediate folks who are pretty familiar with reports about bucket fields. What is a bucket field? A bucket field allows you to group records in your report based on criteria that are important to you. Now, to be clear, most of the time, you could accomplish the same thing a bucket report does by creating a custom field on an object. But a lot of times, you don't wanna go through all the trouble of creating a custom field for something that you just need on one report and that nobody else is really paying any attention to. So instead of going up and cluttering all your custom fields, you can create what's called a bucket field on a report. And all a bucket field is, is a field that allows you to group things or put them into buckets that you name, and then you can then either filter by them, sort by them, or group them in the reports that matter most to you. So today we're gonna to do a really simple example of this. I've got a new opportunities report, and we're gonna go in and we are going to bucket our amount sizes into small deals, big deals, and VIP deals. So let's say for instance, in my org, when I talk about small deals, I'm generally referring to anything under $100,000. For big deals, I'm talking about anything from 100 to $500,000. And when I talk about something over $500,000, we call that a VIP deal in my organization. The labels don't matter, that's just what we call them. But that's what's gonna show up on the report, so my staff Here's the language that they're used to hearing. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, we're gonna click on this little arrow here and we're gonna add a bucket column. The, the most important thing is we're gonna select the correct field to bucket. In this case, we're gonna bucket by amount. And I'm gonna call this bucket donation size. Like I said, anything up to $100,000, we call a small deal. So less than or equal to $100,000 equals small deal. I've got three buckets that I want, so I have to add a bucket here. And I'm saying anything greater than 100,000 up to and including 500,000 is a big deal. And then like we said, anything greater than $500,000 is gonna be called a VIP deal. I'm gonna put it all in caps so that we know for sure these are awesome. I'm gonna hit apply. And then we'll see this automatically come in to our column list by default. All right, so if I scroll over here, now we see donation size, small deal, big deal, small deal, big deal, et cetera. So maybe I wanna group by this because this is actually the type of report I'm looking for is, is by grouping on, on donation size. So I'm gonna go by donation size and I'm gonna group my rows by donation size. Now I'm also seeing that I've got all of my, or a, a large subsection of opportunities in here I might want to add some filters because right now I'm just working with the default filters. So let's go in here and I'm going to say close date equals uh, close date equals all time. And I'm going to say opportunity status equals open. So this is just going to show me all of my open opportunities. So I'll select open. and apply. Great. So now I've got uh, 
report of my open donations grouped by donation size. Let's hit run and see what we see. Great, so now I've got a report that's grouped by donation size. Let's take a look at what happens when I stop showing my detail rows. So what I see here is that I've got 64 small deals. Remember, those are up to $100,000. My 64 small deals only equal $57,000. I've got half as many big deals, but those 32 equal $9.5 million. And then I've only got 23 VIP deals that are open, which means that we haven't closed on them. We're either prospecting, we're analyzing, or they've pledged. Those 23 deals are worth $17.5 million. So this is where the bucketing field comes in really handy because now I can see at a glance really quickly what the breakout of all of my donations is, right? I can see that even though I've got a lot of small deals, the amount of, of those deals total is way less than either of the others two. So as I'm allocating staff hours, I might consider putting more energy into either big deals or VIP deals, depending on probability or stage, um, which of course we can group and sort and adjust our report to include all of that information. So that's how we use a bucket field uh, in our outline. But we can also use bucket fields within our filters. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna hit edit. And then from here, we're gonna go into filters. And now that we've created the bucket field, I can actually filter by bucket field. Um, so this was donation size, and it shows up as bucket field. And I'm gonna click on that, and all of a sudden, I can filter by just the deals I wanna see. So if I'm only interested in seeing VIP deals and big deals, and I don't really care about those small deals anymore, great, I can hit apply, and only see those buckets that I wanna see. And let's say for instance, that I also wanna see what the stage is so that I can really clearly know where we're at on each of those. So I group by stage and I keep this again, we're at, a, we're at a, obviously a summary report because we're grouping, but my detail rows are turned off, meaning I don't have a lot of noise. I can just see the really clear signal within the noise. Now we're starting to see something really amazing. And if I hit run, we'll get all of the fields in there, not just the preview amount. So here I see that in my funnel of pledged deals, I've got about as much uh, money pledged for big deals as I do for VIP deals, five and a half million versus six million. When I look at prospecting though, I see that we're prospecting 11 plus million dollars in VIP deals versus $4 million in big deals. So, and of course, all my record counts are over here. So I can use a report like this really effectively to, to cut down the chatter and really understand, according to my buckets, what does the data in this report mean? because I can take this to my fund development team and we can talk about where we wanna focus our attention so that we've got the right money coming in so that we can create the greatest impact possible in our community. So that's all I've got for today. Feel free to check out the links uh, on the post to see a trailhead around bucket fields and reporting in general. And of course, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Thanks so much for everything you do in the world and keep up the great work.